additional support for us. These could be this year's flood victims, why farmers are concerned about this year's water, and how they're dealing with the last flood. Your news first, starting at 5. In 2011, the province paid nearly $350 million in compensation for farmers and are now asking the federal government for more. So instead of fighting our internal clocks, try to go to bed a little earlier so when the alarm does go off, you feel more refreshed. Because, as the saying goes, if you snooze, you lose. Jay and Jagannathan, CBC News, Winnipeg. Tim Hudak is calling for an end to the 30% tuition grant. The Tory leader says the money is not going to the right students and suggests the grant should be given to students based on academic merit. Hudak also wants the grants given to students in colleges. In other Ford news, a forum research poll found that 40% of voters surveyed would choose Councillor Olivia Chow over Ford in the next mayoral election. His brother didn't take kindly to the forum research findings, saying Olivia Chow is no Jack Layton. Chow didn't respond to the jab and has not officially announced whether or not she will run for mayor in 2014. Since the Ontario Ministry of Transportation introduced the Presto card in 2009, there has been a quick switch from pocket change to fare cards and transit systems in the GTA. But how has this new fare card affected Ryerson students? Monique Hudson reports. Come on, you guys. It's feeding time for Orville Proctor's herd. Proctor and his family have owned this woodlands farm since 1892. But just two years ago, heavy flooding devastated his pasture, leaving his land unusable and his bank account dry. Now, he's worried about flooding again. We're left, all of us as producers, are left on our own and everybody's at risk. His cattle now pasture in fields 35 kilometers away a $6,000 hit and an expense that forced Proctor to downsize his herd. Fred Delarock farms just down the road. He spent $30,000 to move his cattle to higher ground. The province bought portions of his land, but Delarock says there is no plan to drain excess water. It's been a very frustrating experience and actually has provided no real solution for anyone in the area. Many cattle farmers are in the same boat. Cam Dahl represents more than 8,000 cattle farming families. He says the financial costs of the 2011 flood are far from over, forcing some into early retirement. They need help uh, ensuring that they have pasture and they need help ensuring that they have uh, hay and they need help to ensure that they can keep on in business. In 2011, the province paid nearly $350 million in compensation for farmers and are now asking the federal government for more. Your farmers are concerned about what the weather might bring and what the impacts might be on them. And I think it's a personal choice for them about whether they continue to stay into the business or not. For Orville, it's the only way of life he's known for more than 40 years. He says the situation is desperate. You know, this might be my last year. I don't know if I can't, you know, if, as if things keep mounting, I may not be able to stay with this. Jan Jaganathan, CBC News, Woodlands, Manitoba.